What's up? What's up? What's up? This is Jeff from BKJ Mac TV, and this is episode number thirty of the BKJ Mac TV experience. And tonight's episode is about Fifty Cent's son. I mean, let me tell you, this kid. I mean, this kid is wild. He's a wild, wild. He's so wild. I don't even know how to describe him. This, this kid, my, um, his name is Marquez Jackson. And let me tell you, he looks a little bit like his pops. Let me tell you something. 50 Cent was born in 1975 in Queens, New York. He didn't know his father. And his mother struggled to raise him, but then at a young age, his mom, Pat, got killed. So he had to live with his grandma, and his grandma had to raise him. 50 didn't have much, you know, he he knew the streets. He didn't finish school, so he, he did, he operated on the streets, you know, he, he hustled. He was a hustler. He did what he needed to do to survive. And um, let me tell you. As he's trying to, as he's trying to survive, as he's hustling in the streets, he discovered this music thing, hip rap. Always into rap, decided let me pursue a career in rap. So he started trying to get, he started recording a couple of songs, you know, wrote a couple of words down, lyrics, rhymes, and he worked hard. He grinded, and he hustled, sold drugs, and he grinded, and he hustled until eventually. You know, he was able to get attention, big time attention, but then he got shot in 2009 times, almost died, but he was meant to live for a bigger purpose. And he took that as motivation and fuel to keep on going. And then he teamed up with Dr. Dre and Eminem and the whole West Coast team basically rebranded his sound. And in 2002, 2003, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson was able to blow up in the scene of hip hop, taking it by storm with his album Get Rich or Die Trying. Had a numerous, numerous classic songs on that album. You know, he grinded, he worked hard, almost lost his life, and still, he still grinded and did what he needed to do. However, his son, Marquez Marquis, Jackson, his eldest son, the one you can see in the Winkster video back in 2002, he says, whatever he's getting for 50 is not enough. 50 gives him $6,700 a month, $6,700 a month. You know, clearly he may have some issues with his son and his baby moms, you know, whatever the relationship is, it probably got soured and um, he decided, you know, not to really F with them like that. But, you know, that that be that, he was able to put money up and, you know, do what he needed to do. And it's in this article written by Amber Como for Yahoo. Uh, let me tell you how it goes. Um, the eldest son of Curtis 50 Cent Jackson recently hopped on Instagram Live to discuss the amount of money he received a month from his father via child support. According to the splitting image of Fifth, the $6,700 a month he received wasn't quite enough to maintain the lifestyle he felt he deserved based on being related to the Queens rapper, especially while living in New York City. Quote, unquote, he said it was not enough to maintain the lifestyle that he feels he deserved. Let me tell you something. What do you mean you deserve? What do you mean you feel entitled? You know, it just it just blew my mind away. I just couldn't understand when he said that. Like, he felt like people, it, he felt that what his father was giving him wasn't enough. Does he not understand that there are fathers out there who don't even give their kids anything that's not that's like an absentee in their kids' lives? Does he not know that kids are struggling 
just to make ends just make ends meet with a single mom running the household does he does he not know that sixty seven hundred dollars is a lot of money and that you know your father is doing what he can to make sure he has a good life you're supposed to take that money and invest it and turn it into more money 50 cent wasn't given that kind of money when he was a kid coming up in from queens new york you know he had to struggle he had to survive he had to grind to get what he got today and his kid says that he deserved to have a lifestyle because he's related to 50 because 50 is your father it just it just doesn't make sense to me you know if they didn't give him anything then he would have a beef he would have a legit beef but his father gave him is giving him sixty seven hundred dollars a month it's up to you to manage your money and to try to turn it into more money you know what i'm saying it just doesn't make no sense he states sixty seven hundred a month in the state of new york city you do the math marquis 25 tool entrepreneur and ex rapper choke no joke you're talking about a Forbes lister. You're talking about someone that has problems with everybody. You can't just live in any neighborhood. 81000 is not a substantial amount of money. You can't just live anywhere. You're talking about you got beef with everybody in the industry. You can't just live anywhere. First of all, that's your papa beef, not your beef. 50 gives you $81,000 a year. That's a lot of money, and you can manage it properly and turn that eighty-one thousand two into a hundred and eighty-one thousand, and a hundred eighty-one thousand to five hundred thousand to a million dollars in a year because that's a lot of money. Your pops is giving you all that money every single month, sixty-seven hundred dollars every month. And you're getting a total of $81,000 a year. Not even like he gets paid more than teachers. He gets paid more than a lot of workers in New York City. And they're making it. And they're struggling to make ends meet. And you're just 50 cents. And he's giving you that. He's handing it to you. That just blows my mind that he's that ungrateful. That's just wild to me. Choke then enlightened Marquis that he shouldn't be receiving a total. He should have been receiving a total of thirteen thousand four hundred, which would include the other half. That fifty cents to Marquis' mother, Shaquana Tompkins. Choke then suggests that Tompkins is also needed to take care of him and work. However, Marquis focused on the inadequate amount of money he received from his father. If I told you right now, you gotta start your life over right now with sixty-seven hundred a month and rebuild your life. Can you do it? Marquis challenged Choke, who instantly said that he could, just like many average citizens do each day. Absolutely, Choke got it right on that one. Choke, you gotta stop comparing it. You're comparing it to yourself, bro. You're comparing it to your standard of lifestyle. You can't do that. I know what it feels like to have nothing. All right. Marquis sympathized. I had to rebuild my life over with sixty-seven hundred a month, eighty-one thousand dollars a year. He makes no sense whatsoever. He makes no sense. In 2007, 50 made it public news that he had completed all of his child support payments. He even took to social media to celebrate, but later apologized for the Instagram post. Marquis, Marquis immediately criticized his father for making light of a very real situation with him for him. Let's be honest, 50 did what he needed to do. He paid all his child support. He needed, he, he accomplished that. Honestly, he's giving you $6,700 a month and you're 25, 10, and then you're on the hook when you're 21, and that's about it under New York State law. So he's doing that just to do that for you. Their parents, there's kids out there who don't even get that at all. So you shouldn't be complaining at all. At the time, the 47-year-old captioned the insensitive post. Excuse me if I seem a little insensitive at times. I'm different. I came up a little harder than these guys. I make no excuses. I never met my father and my mother got killed when I was eight. After receiving a plethora of outrage comments, he deleted it. He received a lot of negative comments. 
and I don't know why he deleted it. But let's be honest, he had it harder than these guys. He made no excuses. He worked his butt off. His mom got killed when he was eight years old. His dude worked hard. He grind every single day and night. He knew he did not want to live in poverty. He worked. He took whatever he had and he made it work. That's the grind. That's the mentality. And his son saying all of this, saying that he can't live on $6,700 a month. It's just an outrage. It just makes me sick to my stomach. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't support it at all. He's entitled to his opinion. He wants to be balling with the Joneses. Then he should make money like the Joneses. Then, you know what I'm saying? It just, it just makes no sense. It really makes no sense whatsoever at all makes no sense so let's be honest um he's saying he's looking out for his other son he's in his other son's life you know you know it's crazy you know it's just wild it's just really really wild really really wild you know ain't easy it just ain't easy and let's see the game blast 50 cent for relation with a strange son when you do the healing kip and we're not gonna talk about that. You know, 50, 50, 50 will always be the man in the stream and he may not have a great relationship with his with his older son, but you know, he's definitely doing right and he's not running away from his responsibilities as a man and as a father. So in a sense you know, even though he shows his other son a lot of attention, you know, he still did what he needed to do with his older son. So he's going to continue to grind. He's going to continue to work and he make sure he keeps that money coming. And his son needs to take that money at $6,700 a month and he needs to flip it and make more money and more money. And he needs to grind like the way his father did when his father was younger and his age. You know, because it ain't easy. Nothing's handed to you in this world. You know, and you have to work super hard just to get it. Nothing is handed to you at all. So always take the opportunity and blessings and make sure to make the best out of it. That's what I would say. So let's see what happens. See what he does in this situation. But 50, doing, doing what you got to do. So big ups to you, 50 Cent. And I love you, show power. And um, this was episode number 30. Thank you for listening. Um, New episodes coming soon. Peace, love, always, one.